welcome in this video we are going to discuss about the inheritance in Delphi what is the inheritance and how it work so inheritance is important pillar of the OOPS concept in Delphi an object oriented programming inheritance is the other another type of the relationship between the classes inheritance is the mechanism of reusing the functionality of one class into the other class inheritance is referred is a relationship now in later uh, we will see that what is the easier relationship the class from which a new class is created is known as the base class right that is also called the parent or super class the new class is called the derived class and that is called the child class or subclass so that we know that inheritance is the easier relationship in a real world example, a customer is a person. In the same way, a student is a person also, and employee is also a person, right? So in, we can say that the student, employee, all, all are, and customer are the person. They all have some common things. For example, they have the first name, middle name, last name. So trans to translate this into the object oriented programming, we can create a person class with the first name, middle name and last name. Inherit the, inherit the customer, a student and employee classes from the person class. And that's, that's why we don't need to create a same variable or property into all the child classes to avoid the violation of the do not repeat yourself principle also. And here is the here is the graph shown. The person, first name, uh, middle name, last name. Okay, this is the base class or parent class. We can see that. And then from this person class, we can derive the employee, student, and customer class. And these are called the child classes or derived classes. Let's take one example in Delphi. So here I have created a class uh, that we have discussed the person class. In person class, we have declared the first name, middle name, and last name, right? And just I have created a function get person full name, and return type will be string. So it will return the full name of the person. Now I have created a child class t employee, and that t employee will derive from the t person class, right? So if you are deriving from the t person class all the property and method will be available to the employee class right of the t person class right so in t employee class some more features we have added like employee id and company name and get the full employee name one method is there that will return the full employee name right what we are trying to do here this is the parent class t person we have we have some set of the property and method right a set of set of the variable and method right and from the t person we are inheriting the t we are inheriting into the t employee class right so that t employee is the person right that we previously we have discussed is a relationship so t employee is a person right so t employee will have all the like first name, middle name, last name, and they get the person full name. These are the variables and functions available in the T imply class because T imply class inherit the T person class. Now we will give the definition of the get uh, person full name. So here just we will show the message, right? Just return it first name, concatenate name, middle name, and last name. And when it come to the imply, right? get employee full name also we will just uh, return the employee full name first name last name employee id and company name right on the form create what i'm going to do i'm going to create an object of right t employee so t employee is what this is the child class and this is in the t person class right so t employee class we have all the first name middle name and last name get person full name method right available then employee id and company name along with the get employee full name right 
So I have taken the variable imply object of the imply type, right? I am creating the object and assigning to the imply object. After that, in the imply object, if you see that I have the first name, middle name, last name. So imply object, the imply class, we don't have the first name, middle name, last name. It's available only because of we have inherited the person, the person class into the T imply class, right? That's why in T imply class object, the first name, middle name, and last name is available. So just I'm assigning the some value, right? First name, middle name, and last name, and imply ID and company name, right? And I'm just calling the method, okay? With the object dot get person full name. So when you call that the get person full name, it will go and call the this method, right? T person get per t person class get person full name right when you call the object dot get imply full name right imply object dot get imply full name it will call the child class imply method right get call so let's run and see what is the output so we can see it here here the object dot get person full name we are getting the Rohan Kumar right right and next is we will get call that this is 70 line number imply object dot get imply full name it will give you the imply full detail right so imply name first name middle name last name imply id and company name right so this is all about the inheritance <laughs>